this is AON22 and today I'm coming to share with you another diaper bag packing video. This one for the Vera Bradley Weekender, which I have in the Safari Sunset pattern. I might have said it before, but this is definitely one of my favorite Vera Bradley patterns. Um, I've already done one video that shows the difference between this bag and an actual Vera Bradley diaper bag. I use the Vera Bradley Make a Change. So in this video, I just wanted to show actually how I have this bag packed up and why I do think it makes such a great diaper bag. This is an older style Weekender. Um, this one is no longer made, but you can still find it on um, places like eBay and stuff. And I think it's the older version that makes a better diaper bag. There are some definite differences between this bag and the new version. And one of the big differences is right here in the front. This one has two gigantic slip pockets up here in the front. Whereas the new version has a zipper pocket that starts over here, the zipper goes up, across, and down. But there's no inner organization in that pocket, so when you unzip it, that front flap just kind of falls forward, and anything you have in there is going to fall out. So I didn't really find that to be very useful. And then the other big difference is in the back of the bag. This version has another big zip pocket that is almost the entire length and width of the bag, so you can fit quite a bit back there. The new version just has two tiny slip pockets. I mean, they're so small that the only things that really fit back there are things like chapstick and stuff. You can't put phones or anything because they will definitely fall out. And then in the middle, it has an open slip pocket for putting over the handle of a suitcase. So that'd be great for traveling, but not something that you really need for a diaper bag. So this version, I think, was definitely a better version. All right, let's go into some of the features that the bag has and how much I have packed up in it. In here, in this big zipper pocket, first I have this beautiful fob that was made by Andrea Reynolds. You can find her on Fobs by Andrea on Facebook. And all I did was send her a picture of the bag and then she got the little crystals to match. In that big pocket back here, I have a planner. And it's a plum paper planner, so it's fairly thick about the same size as an Erin Condren. It fits back here with room to spare on the top and quite a bit of room over here on the side. So I could definitely put some more in there, but I don't like my bags to get too bulky on the outside, so that's all I have back there. <laughs> on this side, attached to the messenger strap, I just have my hand sanitizer. And on this side, I just have my little Vera Bradley um, passy pod. So it has one binky and the clip that holds it to his clothes. Okay, in the front of the bag, we have those two gigantic slip pockets. Um, they're definitely big enough to hold bottles. So if you notice, there were no pockets on the side. So you could definitely put bottles up here in the front. You could carry your bottles of water and they would fit with absolutely no problem. You could probably fit about three Dr. Browns, maybe like two Tommy Tippy Tops type size and they would fit with no problem. Water bottles would definitely fit with no problem. Um, I don't keep my water bottles on the outside, I keep them on the inside. So I use these pockets to carry things that I wanna be able to be able to reach in and out very quickly or that I'm gonna use more often. And I don't put too much in them because again, I don't like it when things on the outside of my bag make it bulk out. So anyway, attached to the um, strap here, I have a Vera Bradley loop keychain. I love these because with that snap, you can attach them to anything. I have a booty pod that has all the water wipes. So whenever I want to wipe down a drop binky or I need to clean a face, I use the water wipes. I have a little thing of mints and a receipt. So that's just kind of a pocket light where I'll throw things into. Over on this side, I have my double sunglass case. It has my two pairs of glasses. I have a jujube pen for when I just need to write something down quickly. And I have my little tune-in case. And for those of you who haven't seen it yet, this just holds earbuds and then I have a little extra computer cord. And I think that's it. So definitely these pockets are really big. You could definitely put quite a bit more in. But again, that's really all I wanted to put out there. The top of the bag has these two rolled handles. I would not carry the bag with this. Um, the bag itself is pretty light, but when you have it stuffed as full as I do, it can get kind of heavy. Um, so I would definitely use the messenger strap and not these. These will definitely dig into your shoulders, but they do make great grab handles. All right, now here at the top of the bag, it has double zippers, which I love. 
And then if I take that and I fold it, everything back, you're going to see that beautiful Vera Bradley contrasting pattern. And then you can just see everything that I have in there. Now, one thing I wanted to show is right now, um, I just have a single bottle holder. And this is a Vera Bradley bottle bag. And I can fit like one Tommy Tippier, one Dr. Brown's, as well as one of those little single serve munchkin um, formula dispensers. And that fits in there fine. But if I have all three of my kids and I need to carry around more snacks than that, I wanted to show you that you could fit something like a fuel cell in there. So I would just take out the blanket for a minute, drop that right in, and you can see it fits in there with no problem at all. So if you are like me and you don't like to have to carry multiple bags, you just want one bag, um, that fuel cell will fit in there with no problems at all. So I'm going to go ahead and take that out. I just wanted you to see that it will fit. And what else do I have in there? I always carry around one swaddle blanket down here in South Florida. Um, it's usually pretty hot, so we don't really need blankets. So this is just in case we go in somewhere where the um, AC is on and they have it a little too cold. Or if when we go on our long walks, I drape this over the top just to help keep some of that direct sunlight off baby's face. All right, also here in this center section, I have an honor roll case. And that just has all my pens and highlighters and things that I use with my, my planner. I have a small cosmetic. And in here, this is all my little um, goodies. So I have cough drops, my Arnold, or my Palmer's chapstick, some lipstick, tied to go pen. I'm a teacher, so I'm constantly around sick kids and then my little kids. So I always have some emergency, some travel tweezers, Tums, nail file, dental floss, my contact wedding drops, another little chapstick, some travel scissors, uh, congestion relief, Tylenol, um, some adult band-aids. My husband doesn't really like to wear the kitty band-aids, so I can just throw a couple of those in there. And then just some feminine products. And all that fits in there pretty easily. It's just kind of all flopped in there, but when it zips up, it's fairly compact. Okay. Then here I have a medium cosmetic, and this is all the kids' stuff. So I have a little sample boogie wipe. I have one of these Be Cool Fever strips. I think once these run out, I'm going to go ahead and buy the Little Fevers one because the packaging is a lot smaller. I have the baby's Tylenol and syringe. I have a couple packages of hand sanitizing wipes. I have a couple of these little remedies, lollipops for sore throats, bug bite relief, thermometer, the baby's nail file, my little spare thing of um, sunscreen. I carry a bigger one in my car, but this is just in case of emergency. Some gauze tape, uh, my older kids' um, ibuprofen pills, and then I also have a little Jujube King's Court um, coin purse. And this is just where I have Neosporin, Band-Aids, gauze pads, and all that kind of little stuff. So sometimes if I'm going somewhere real quick, I just take this and this and pop it into another little bag and that's all I'll, I'll take with me. And all that fits pretty well right into this medium cosmetic. Alright, I have my wallet, full size wallet. And then the last thing I have in this center section is a Jujube be quick and this is all of baby's diapering essentials so here in this back pocket I just have a couple of diaper sacks I have another booty pod but this one with the huggies wipes right now I just have two diapers I usually only carry two to three at a time because I figure if I need more than that I always have all my spare stash in the car some butt cream and then I have this fold out change pack I love this change pad because it folds up so small 
and it's so easy to clean since it's basically just laminated fabric and then it fits into the quick very very easily all right so that's it for the center section so you can kind of see in there now just how big that opens up the other thing this bag has is it has um, four gigantic slip pockets on the inside um, two on the top two on the bottom so again you can get quite a bit into these pockets um, but this is really all I figure I would usually need so I have a little spare onesie in case of accidents a little pair of socks in case we do go somewhere that's a little bit more chilly I have a wet bag because I figure if I'm having to change baby's clothes there's probably a reason why and then down at the bottom I just carry a little footy because that way if I'm out with uh, my parents or something and we're staying a little bit late, I can get baby dressed for bed before I put him back in his car seat. Okay, and this pocket over here, I just have a little thing of boogie wipes. I have a little Vera Bradley coin purse and this has all the cards that I don't need all the time. So it has like my punch cards and gift cards, my um, spare library card, and just some coupons and things. So things I don't want bulking up my wallet. And then the last thing I have in that pocket is a little Vera Bradley tech case. And that's just where I keep my camera. Most of the time I take pictures on my phone, but since I am also a teacher and I take pictures of my students all the time, I like having a, a camera so I don't use up all the space on my phone. And also just when I want to take nicer pictures of my kids, then my phone will take. And that fits in is protected very nicely in there. All right, the last two pockets, I'll start over here. I just have a burp cloth, because my baby spits up quite a bit, and a burp cloth. I think I call the other thing a burp cloth a bib there we go and this has that nice terry lining and this one was made by no whining please and finally this last pocket I just have some of baby's toys he's just now starting to grasp at things so he has this little rattle that he loves because the way that it sparkles a little ring rattle that's easy for him to get his fingers across and probably his favorite thing he loves to eat cloth he's always got his bib in his mouth his clothes in his mouth so this little doggy with all the little tags and the blanket he loves that because it's just something that he could grab real easy and then just shove the whole thing right in his mouth so I don't carry a lot of toys for him right now because um, again he's only three months so he doesn't really need a lot now one thing I used to carry in this bag that I don't have right now was a little busy bag for my older kids I now keep that in my car bag because I didn't want to have to carry it around all the time um, but if I am going somewhere, like a restaurant or something, I can take that busy bag, take it out of my car bag, and throw that in here as well with no problem. So I will eventually do a video on one of those too. So that is everything. That is the Vera Bradley Weekender. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, please go ahead and feel free to put them down below. And if you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks.